Right, good day everybody. Uh, this is the uh, first uh, YouTube video I've done, um, and it's all about Revit. Um, I'm a Revit user, my name is Rhys Davies, uh, based in Melbourne, Australia. Um, now I know that I'm not the first person to do uh, Revit tutorials um, or anything like that, uh, but what I'm hoping to do is create um, a series of tutor tutorials that um, perhaps uh, feel a bit more comfortable for the Australasian market. Um, as I'll be using, you know, metric terms, um, Australian slash New Zealand um, term, const construction terminology, and. Um, yeah, so, like I said, I'm not going to step on any toes over the Northern Hemisphere, but, yeah, we'll try and do things a little bit differently um, and see how we go. So, uh, this is Revit, um, and what this video is, this particular video is all about, is really just having a very, very brief look at it and really looking at what do you need in order to be able to get to this particular screen, Okay, which is, you know, the, this the splash screen. Um, so you might be um, a student or um, an established building designer or an architect, and you want to go. Well, what do I need to do? Or you know, I want to, I want to try Revit. How do I get? How do I get it? You know, what do I need? Etc. Um, so the very first thing to probably understand about Revit. Um, is that um, it is what we call a BIM system. So I'm just going to pop down to my old interwebs browser and yes I know I'm using Wikipedia but you know this is pretty reasonable. Um, so BIM okay it stands for you know building information modeling um, and it's basically taking the process where we get one piece of software that does pretty much everything that we would normally do in a um, with regards to drafting and building design etc. Um, traditionally um, paper systems or even the AutoCAD and things like that the, the key difference here is BIM is a 3D system very automated um, and um, gives us an enormous amount of control um, and checking ability. Um, if we were using AutoCAD and things like that, we would draw floor plans, then we would draw elevations, then we would draw sections. Um, we'd have to annotate most things separately. Um, and if you change one thing, um, say something on a floor plan, you would have to go ahead and change, you know, two to three different elevations. You'd have to change all the sections individually. With the BIM systems, because they are 3D models, whatever we do in plan view will be automatically uh, completed. Um, also, an elevation section, um, scheduling, etc. So, um, like I said, we get a lot of automation. Um, it's not perfect, okay, we do still need to um, uh, be very wary and um, very um, very careful with what we do, but it certainly makes our life a little bit easier. So I'm not going to go right into Wikipedia, there's no real point there, so we're just going to close that window down. Okay, and the next window here, okay, is the system requirements for Revit. So this is straight off Autodesk. Um, website, um, it's uh, Revit is one of their products. Okay, and they give three um, basic, um, you know, performance criteria, depending on what you want to do with the software. Um, uh, as a standalone user of the software, um, you know, I, I run one, you know, one computer. I'm not networked or running off a server or anything like that. But I do, and I don't do massive jobs, but I have learnt, um, and it is my firm belief, that spend a bit of money and get yourself a decent bit of hardware um, to run uh, Revit comfortably. So um, here we have uh, performance, 
Okay, large complex models. Okay, uh, you'll notice that even though Windows 10 has currently been has been released, it is not supported yet. Um, Autodesk, I believe, will probably catch up very shortly. Um, and I'm running this computer on micro, Microsoft Windows 7. Um, I'm bypassing the whole 8 thing, not a big fan of it. Uh, CPU type, very imp important here. Okay, depending on what you go for. As a standalone computer, I've done this one here, which is an i series processor. Uh, my computer is running an i7, um, I believe it's the Haswell chips. Very fast, um, running very, very smoothly, and. Um, performs very well for what I need it to do. Um, we have the memory at RAM. Okay, I am running 16 gig of RAM on my computer and again just makes things run very very um, smoothly you know even on smaller files and stuff like that. Video display, yeah give yourself a decent monitor, decent graphics cards. Okay, Browser connectivity, you do need the internet, you need to be able to register your licenses, all that sort of jazz, download updates, hotfixes, all that sort of stuff. Um, the one thing they don't put in here is the amount of, um, well they do talk about here, um, disk space, so you need 5 gigabytes free, which is nothing compared, you know, you know when we're all buying 1 and 2 terabyte disks, etc. And the key thing that I found here is to not to actually have a solid state drive. Okay, it basically makes your computer perform a little bit like a smartphone, very very quick. Um, Revit can take a while to spool up, so um, and I found as soon as I installed a solid state drive, um, Revit, my computer, everything just ran is now running very very quickly. Um, and I'm happy. I'm very, very happy with it. I don't have to, you know, wait, you know, a minute or two minutes for Revit to open up or my computer to start. Solid state drive. Everything's up and running in a matter of seconds. A um, little bit of extra productivity, I believe. So, shut that down. Ooh, you don't need to see YouTube, do you? Okay, and then you go off, you buy your your, your Revit, um, or downloaded a student version if you are indeed a student. You'll open up and you'll get to this, which is the splash screen. Okay, this is the front page of Revit. Uh, you can set it up to bypass this and just go straight into a project page. Um, I like to go in here because I get to see what files I used recently. Um, so these are my projects. Um, there's some samples provided by Autodesk, and here are some families um, that I've been mucking around with and converting to uh, suit myself. Um, and it's a fairly classic splash screen for Autodesk. But for the time being, we're going to call it quits on this particular tutorial. It is literally just what do I need to run the software. The next tutorial, we're actually going to actually go into Revit and um, yeah, have a look at the interface and just what some of the bits are. Okay, so very, very introductory stuff, but should be safe and um, easy to follow. So we'll catch you soon.